I uh, talk to my beloved twin soul the other day. so consumed by stress and by the energies of the lower density world with all of the problems that are unfolding in the earth. It really touches my heart deeply in compassion and I wish I wish I could help her with her internal state it's a vibrational um, issue and uh, even though she has this very intimate relationship with Jesus. It doesn't seem to help her rise above the lower energies. She's been in it for years and uh, she's also a empath but doesn't seem to know how to transmute all of those energies. So it's very, she's having a very hard time. And it's, uh, it hurts me too. It's very hard for me to, to watch her and not being able to assist. that um, I have to bring it back again to uh, this principle of having a relationship with Jesus, of having a relationship with someone else, that you have to wait on to rescue you and to lift you out of your gloom. And uh, I know <laughs> I've lived in a relationship with Jesus for years like that. And you're always waiting for Jesus to make it better. And you know, it, it happens occasionally you would get a lift, but then you spiral right back into the gloom spiral right back down there and uh, that relationship was not sustainable at some point I my soul was worn down and I thought there's got to be a better way well since the twin flame activation and merge um, I was given that better way, and that was the realization of needing to have that relationship with myself, with my soul, and to be unified within myself, with my divine parts and with my human parts or dimensions. To basically create a positive force field or the Merkaba that is when your three lower chakras where all the gloom and doom rises from when that gets linked with the three upper chakras the heavenly energies that creates the Merkaba in your heart space. 
um, from which you then generate consistent, stable, positive energies, the energy of love. And because I have that relationship within myself, I am in a perpetual state of being hugged from the inside by my soul. And uh, that's what keeps generating the love, the light, and the positivity in me and keeps me out of those lower, gloomy energies. There's always light in my life, no darkness, no hopelessness. Um, yes, I get moments of anxiety and despair, but it's so easy now and so quick to shift out of those um, brief periods and raise myself again, that I don't have to languish in stress and darkness for days and weeks and months and sometimes years, like my dear friend. Um, and that is the difference in our relationships. The one has a relationship with Jesus and struggles, where I, is, where I have a relationship with my own soul, which is the divine aspect, which is God, but it's me, it's my soul. It's not a relationship with another. And I have always immediate access because it is me immediate access to higher vibrations, to the light and the love. And so it's not enough if you are of the Christian belief and believe in the love of God. It is not enough to be loved by God as we think of it as God in heaven loving us and sending down his son to die for us. That is such a, distance lo a distant love. As nice as it is, and it has been helpful, if you are in a really desperate situation, it helps to know that somebody loves you. Somebody has his eye on you. That does help. I'm not negating that. But it's not enough. Because that kind of relationship has a distance to it, and it's in that distance, in that space, in that conscious separation where we suffer. And uh, that's why being, why being the Christ, why being that God. Why, um, why being that divine essence makes all the difference. You're no longer helplessly waiting for the situations to get better. You can create and make it better for yourself by raising and ascending the, vib the vibrations within yourself. So I am loved by God but I consciously know in my being that I am that. And I'm constantly being hugged and loved by my soul. And I love and hug my soul back. It's a infinity loop of love and light that circulates through my being. And... Uh, that is why my life is so bright. It's bright on the inside. And uh, there's nothing like it.